What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Tyranitar Sandstream team that actually helped me push Master Tier within this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting the Scarlet and Violet content. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Murkrow. This Pokemon has been taken over to meta, super strong at speed control, and really good at just like controlling stat changes with that haze. It has pr Prankster as its ability, rocking the Focus Sash as its item, then it has Icy Wind for speed control, Haze, Tailwind for more speed control, and Air Slash for its final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Meowskarada, a really strong starter with Overgrow and the Life Orb as its item, Rock and Protect. Flower Trick, Sucker Punch, and Knock Off for its items. I really do like this moveset. You got Flower Trick for that heavy stab damage, which always lands as a crit. You got Sucker Punch for that first turn priority. And then you got Knock Off, which does big damage because it is stabbed to Meowskarada. And on top of that, it takes off all the items. So I'm all about the move. I really do like it. Middle left is going to be Golden Go. And Golden Go has might have been the most used Pokemon in all of ranked. Every team has, has a Golden Go on it. It is super strong, really good stats, great all around, and its typing is phenomenal. This one has good as gold as ability, rocking the choice specs as item, and then we got make it rain, shadow ball, side shock, and steel beam for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Tyrantar, and Tyrantar has slowly become one of my favorite Pokemons to use in competitive play. From BDSP, Sword and Shield, and now in this game, I've just been loving using this Pokemon, and I feel like I, I play with it really, really well. It's got Sandstream as ability to have weather control, Lumberry as item, and then it's got Crunch, Rock Slide, Dragon Dance, and Protect, which I believe to be the best moveset for a Tyrantar. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Arcanine, and Arcanine solid for just the Intimidates and the special attack drops with the Snarl, just great Pokemon for any competitive play. It's got Assault Vest as item, Flare Blitz, Bulldoze, Snarl, and Extreme Speed for its 4 moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Garchomp, that is going to be Tyranitar's best friend because they go hand in hand in the Sandstorm. Garchomp has Sand Veil as its ability to raise its evasiveness in the Sandstorm, so it will be able to dodge moves a lot easier. Then it's got the clear amulet as item, and then its four moves is going to be Dragon Call, Sword Dance, EQ, and Protect. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Tyranitar team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a semi-trick room team with Oranguru and Torkoal, and then it also has Garchomp, Annihilate, Sylveon, and indeed, I feel like that's the one problem with this team. It doesn't really have a way to counteract Trick Room. So how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I mean, Golden Go wouldn't be too bad in Trick Room considering like it's kind of slow, but still like the Trick Room Pokemon such as Torkoal are going to be a lot slower than that Pokemon. And it's gonna be really tough to kind of counter. So that's, I feel like it's the one problem with this team. It's Trick Room counters is eh. So I think it is gonna go in the Trick Room. I could go into Garchomp, potentially set up a Sword Dance. Could also go into Titar here. Maybe just go Sword Stance, Dragon Dance, try to get it off that way just for the straight up attack boost. Or I can go into Miascarada, start popping some knockoffs, taking off items, getting after the battle that way. I'm kind of with that. I definitely want to lead Garchomp. I feel like Garchomp is going to be a play. I don't think we lead Murkrow. I feel like Murkrow is going to be a tough little lead for us. And it's not going to really do too much, especially if he sets up Trick Room. So I'm going to go Garchomp. I am going to go T-Tar here. Or I could go Intimidate, but I feel like he does lead like some sort of like special attacker. So maybe Arcanine's not too bad, but I like the T-Tar Garchomp combo right off the rip. We're going to bring me Askarada, and then I feel like Golden Go is going to be solid. I like Golden Go all around. I mean, I could go Arcanine instead of Golden Go. Might be able to get off a bit more value with that. Hmm. Do I want that? Yeah, you know what? I am going to do that. I am going to go Golden Go over, or Arcanine over Golden Go in this instance. Considering he has Annihilate, but I feel like Annihilate as like a back-end support Pokemon could be good. Could definitely be good. But yeah, I've been I'm in master tier and this team got me the master tier probably like a couple days ago I would say almost about a week ago and This team has just been phenomenal for me really working out Well again trick room is probably like the only downfall to this team and they're gonna set it up pretty easily So he's probably looking to uh, final gambit me get after the battle that way. Um, hmm What could I do? I mean final gambit does me dirty does me dirty, but who do I think he's in a final gambit? That's a real problem. I think I have the sword sands dragon ants both right Or I could go for the flinch. I could definitely go for the flinch could definitely go for the flinch. I could protect you. Um, I think he just straight up punch me. You know, I'm gonna protect you. He knows we're four times super effective. I'm gonna try to set up the sword stance. Because instead of final gambiting, he could just straight up close combat me. Let's see how he plays this one. He goes for the final gambit into the T-turn slap. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. 
The Trick Room is obviously going to get popped. We see this coming from a mile away. I'm going to Swords Dance Guard Top, and I'm just going to hard swap into... Huh, who do I hard swap into? Hmm. I think I protect the guard chomp hard swap into potentially Miyaski Rana. I feel like the final game it has to come into the guard chomp now. Hmm. Or I could just protect him and drop a rocks with T Tar. I do really like that. Or yeah, yeah. Hmm. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'm going to protect you, and I'm going to drop rocks with T-Tar. Rock side coming in hot. I'm all about it. I'm all about the rock side. Looking for flinches, looking to do some work. Trying to get off some damage. See how this one plays out here. So he's going to end up going for the taunt. He doesn't want me sword dance again. We block that. And are you final gambiting into the guard chomp? What are you doing? Are you double down the guard chomp? Rock side's going to come out here. Who dodges it? Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Okay. Um. Now that doesn't get it, but he final gambits. Can we survive that? You can. Cool. So we did a little bit of damage. We were able to survive that. I like that turn all around. I just taunt my guard chomp. Oh, do I keep the T-Tar? Do I keep the T-Tar by swapping it? Because I feel like I already know what's going to happen here. Torkoal's going to come out here. Change weather back. I might have to swap the T-Tar. To go in the Arcanine, I could... I'm thinking of Terrasalizing my guard chomp here. But Terrasalizing might make him take more damage, right? It's tough news. There was this fire with the dragon typing. I know Sylveon comes out here, so I am going to swap typings. I do have this lovely ground typing. I'm going to pop a free EQ. I'm just going to EQ pop, and I guess I'll just crunch on the side here. I to get after this Ranguru. I'm all about it. I can definitely see a hyper voice coming in here, and if I can just straight up land this EQ, it's going to be stab, it's going to be trash slide, it's going to be sword stance plus two. We can get off some big damage, which I would absolutely love. Then I can just start sucker punching throughout with Miascarada. Getting off somewhere because we already got rid of that annihilate, which I really like. Hyper Voice is gonna fly. I'm gonna be able to eat with the guard chomp. And what is Ranguru going for? What are you doing? Oh, are you gonna is it gonna go for a, what's it called? Oh wow, throat spray, and it's gonna do its thing. What's that thing called? In instruct, yeah. Please don't kill that's gonna kill me, isn't it? With that plus one boost? Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't don't be like that. Don't be like that. Oh, Sandvale. Yo, Sandvale coming in hot, yo. We love a good old Sandvale. Coming in hot. Can we pick up a double KO here? Let's go, Chop. Let's go, Chop. There's one. Get rid of the Sylveon, please. Oh, I love you. Guard Chop coming in hot. Sandvale doing magic. Doing magic. I'm almost positive that Hyper Voice would have KO'd me. Because he got the plus one from the throat spray. Woo. Woo. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I'm going to go into Arcanine just in case he throws out a physical attacker. If he throws out a special attacker, I'm just going to start Snarl dropping it. It's probably going to be Torkoal. It is Torkoal. The Torkoal comes out here. I think like I just snarl, snarl, protect my guard chop, kind of roll after it that way. I do have the Assault Vest on the uh, Arcanine, so I should be able to soak rather well. I'm all with these turns. But yo, Sandvale coming in clutch. It really is. I do want to see how many turns left to trick him, though. Two. So I could try to land a double protect, but I feel like after a snarl and possibly an extreme speed eruption or heat wave won't do too much, or at least eruption won't because eruption is based on ACP. He's going to try slides, probably in the fire type. You know, solid battle from us so far. We still have Miyasuke about it in the back end. And I could definitely waste out tricking turns from there. Start hitting that thing with knockoffs, sucker punches, all that good stuff. So I'm with it. I'm with it. Annihilate is another Pokemon that's very scary. Up against this team. I just feel like it doesn't work up against a few of our Pokemon. And he's tough to deal with. But he's going to go for the eruption. I blocked that one. Beautiful. And my boy should be able to soak this up. Your fire typing. And you have that Assault Fest. Oh yeah, all day. That's easy soaks for you, Arcanine. That's why I love Arcanine. Very, very bulky Pokemon with great HP and defense stats. Pretty fast too. And this, again, this move pool just works wonders. So from here, I'm just going to try to pop an EQ for the win. I'm going to go for an EQ and I am going to go for an Extreme Speed. Because if he's popping another Eruption, I want to do as much damage as I possibly can. But he cancels the battle and battle number one goes to your boy. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against the dreadful Dodonzo team. Got Tatsugimi on it as well with Dragapult and Didi, Armorous, and Colossal. So we could proc Steam Engine Colossal with Dragapult. Um, I could haze it turn one, right? Should I go haze? I feel like Murkrow has to come in here. He has the Donzo and Steam Engine Pokemon. 
I have to be able to haze it. I have to be able to do that. So I'm going to go here. I am going to go meet Alsko Rada as well as Elite. Because it's going to be solid. I can sucker punch into the Dragon Pole. I can get off some big damage. I'm all I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm with it all day. Um, Actually, do I lead Murkrow or do I lead somebody else? I could lead somebody else such as like... Olden Go potentially. But then a fire move would just rip into me. Hmm. I don't know if I want to lead Murkrow just in case he's rocking Dodonso in the back end. But I can definitely see him either going... He has, he has, he has th three combos here. He has Indeedee, Armor Rouge. They can combo together with Expanding Forces. He also has the, uh, the Dragon Pole Colossal and then the Dodonso the combo. He has a lot of different options he can go into. Or they can go into. Um, hmm. Who do I want to go here? I could go Arcanine. I kind of think Arcanine has lead. It's not too bad. Actually, I really don't like Arcanine here. I do not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Garchomp. I'm gonna bring Titar in the back end, and then I'm gonna throw Murkrow in the back end as well. Even though I do like Murkrow in the front end, I feel like we need him just in case the Donzo comes in the back end. Because if he ends up dying, we'll be sitting in a tough spot. We are gonna be sitting in a tough spot. But the Donzo might get the best me. I beat it in. Was it the last video? I think it was the last video. We beat the Dodonzo in the last video. So hopefully we can replicate that, get after it again. But the Dodonzo will always be doing me dirty. And he ends up leading these two. I do have Miyasuke out of the Sucker Punch into that uh, into that Pokemon, but it might be Sashed. Do I Terrasilize here? I could definitely Terrasilize. Straight up in the dark, which I'm really leaning towards because I don't think I could take a Heat Wave. But also Dragon Claw. Uh, huh. I might go for a Dance Full of Swords. Well, I could just protect this turn. I could definitely protect. Hmm. I might just double down in this Pokemon just in case it's sashed. Get rid of you. Which most likely it is, it is going to be sashed. Most likely it is going to be Sash. So we're going to Terrasilize our Miascarado just so it's not super effective up against like the Heat Wave or Fire Moves that are going to come in here. I Terrasilize early here. Sucker Punch going to fly through here. Show me no Sash. Let me just get rid of you. It is Sash. Kind of saw that Pokemon being Sash from a mile away. But on top of that, it is going to pop that lovely little Aqua Jet. So Aqua Jet obviously coming through here. He's going to pop a Heat Wave or something like that. Or no, he's just going to straight up Surf. Surf works. Surf. And he's going to Steam Edge of Boost. So this is why we need the Haze Pokemon. So if he takes out one of my Pokemon here, I'm going to be able to Haze next turn. I kind of hope it, it would... Oh, he's going to explode. Wow. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I feel you. I see you. <laughs> he's going to explode. He's gonna explode, so that Pokemon explodes. It's a little whack, but we're kind of hoping that the Donzo combos in the back. Explosion from that. i never seen that. It's usually just like Heat Wave, but I guess this is basically a whole new game because there's no Dynamax. Because most of the time you would pop the Steam Engine, and then you would just Dynamax Colossal and roll from there. But Explosion seems to be awesome in this instance, or in this game. Seems to be really good. Would have been nice if I protected my Garchomp there. Would have been really good. We'll see who they want to go into. We have Tailwind ready to go. So I can Tailwind and outspeed and probably just drop Rock Slides. But we'll see who they want to end up leading. It's going to be bump a da bum It's going to be the combo. So I don't I don't mind the combo too much. I'm going to be able to drop a Rock Slide here. And deal some damage. And then on top of that, I am going to set up the Tailwind. I think like I have the Tailwind, right? Just to grant some speed control. I'm all about it. I do wish I didn't Terrasilize, but this one's going to be tough. We're going to have to Haze and just constantly do damage to that Dodonzo. But the Dodonzo could do some mean damage over to my T-Tar. Because it is a Water-type Pokemon. So we set up Tailwind. We're hoping we can get the uh, the Rock Slide flinch and the uh, KO here. So you can go for the will o -Wisp. Do I dodge that? Ah, oh, it's a huge dodge. Surprise you outspeed me in this. You outspeed me in the Tailwind. We get off some decent damage onto the, uh, the Gummy Pokemon. And we take out the Dragon Bolt. The Dragon Bolt's gone, and this thing goes for Muddy Water. Ah, uh, that's fine. Okay, Murkrow. Wow, Murkrow's gonna die. We just lost. Murkrow's gonna die. It did that much damage to my Murkrow? That's a rough sight. That's a real rough sight. I did not think it was doing that much damage to my Murkrow. I needed my Murkrow. Now Dodonzo comes out here and we lose this match. That's tough. That's tough. 
That little fish did that much damage? That's wild. That's wild. I, I'm just going to run this battle. It is over with. I was hoping I can eat up pretty well and just kind of, you know, haze up. Get after the battle that way. Because I would have I would have protected my T-Tar. I would have hazed that turn. And then I would have got after the battle that way. Start going for air slashes for flinches. Rock slide. Just trying to proc flinches. Getting after the battle. And then with this defense so low, I don't think it would have did too much. And I could go for a rock slide. Try to get some flinches on the Donzo. We do have Tailwind Speed. And it don't matter. Oh, no. It does land on this one. So we, we chip up a little bit of damage. We got a crit. But its defense is so boosted. And it does flinch. It does flinch. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. But it has left him. Yeah. We're not winning this. We are not winning this. I mean, I can keep going for rock side flinches. But that was a crit. Like, it's not going to do any damage. It's not going to do any damage. God dang the Donzo, man. And it wasn't even the Donzo this match. I feel like we played this one pretty well. It just seems like that fish got off a ridiculous amount with that money water onto my Murkrow. Brought it down to the Sash. Did all that good stuff. First Soul. But now he terrestrializes into Steel. It's a Steel type one. That's a solid Terra type for this Pokemon. It really is. Rockside's going to fly. The Gummy's going to dodge it. No, this one's gonna fly. Do we get off a flinch? Like, that's how much damage he's gonna be doing. We do get another flinch, yo. I think I can just constantly bring him down. But once the tailwind ends, it's, it's GG's, right? It's over with at that point. We're doing less damage than his leftovers. Yeah, th this one's over. This one's over. GG to this guy. The Donzo gets me again, but I feel like we played all around great in this battle. Third and final match coming at you guys, and it looks like the game wants to give us redemption. We're going up against yet another Dodonzo team, pretty similar to the last team. It has Armor Rouge as well, but this time it has Sylveon, Hydreigon, and Meowskarana. So the game said, Ayo hey, Jeans, here's a little bit of redemption. Get back after it. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I could definitely potentially see the uh, Sylveon being a lead, so I kind of do like Golden Go as a lead. So I'm going to go Golden Go here. I do have to watch out for the uh, Miyazaki as a lead. So I might even go Arcanine as lead. I feel like Arcanine could be solid. We can intimidate. We can start snarling Pokemon. I'm all about it. I'm all with it. So I'm going to go Arcanine. I'm going to go Golden Go. Murkrow obviously has to come in here. And then final Pokemon, I'm really liking the Miyazaki. Or do I just bring Miyazaki in the back end and lead Murkrow? Because I can lead a Pokemon like Murkrow and kind of roll out the battle. I think I'm liking this all around. I think, I think Golden Go and Miyazaki can pretty much carry us to victory here. Actually, Arm Rouge is looking a little tough. Do I not go you? I don't think I go Arcanine. I think we lead the Murkrow and we just have Miyazaki in the back end. <clears throat> it's a great counter to the Danzo. That's all I'm looking at. And then we can lead a Pokemon like... Or bring up a Pokemon like Titar in the back end. Because I feel like Titar can get some work done. Titar seems like a dog here. Seems like a dog. I'm bringing Titar. I'm bringing Titar. I love Titar. I think Titar has carried me a lot of the way with the steam towards the Master Ball tier. And, 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 and I'm, I'm not shying away from it. I'm not shying away with it. I love the T-Tar. But yeah, game's giving us more redemption. It says, hey, yo, get after the, the Dodonzo. Yes, has a great counter to it, so. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yes, Karada and Sylveon. Do you get the lead here? Uh, I don't mind it. I can, uh, seems like a fair make it rain. I mean, he could Terra. We could see a Terra type come out here. Makes me not want to really make it rain. I could do this and just rip into one of these, but I feel like Make It Rain is going to be a play call. Even if we're dropping our special attack, I just feel like it's a play call all day. And then I could, I could haze and do it again. I could haze and do it again. This could be a rinse repeat cycle. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I probably should have terror type though. I might have messed up. I might have messed up. I should terror. I should terror. Do not sucker punch me. Leave me alone. Okay, you don't sucker punch me. Thank you. That could have been a mistake. That could have definitely been a mistake. Choice spec damage, almost KOing you. That kind of hurts, didn't it? It's sashed. A sash Miascarada. What are you going for? Special attacks down. I'm gonna go for a trick room. I understand. I understand. Do I still tear it in the steel? I think I am. And I think I'm just gonna haze. I think I'm just gonna haze these stat changes away. I wonder what he's doing with the Sylveon. My Terra, yeah. The Terra is going to come out here. Our Terra type might be bad. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be Fairy still. Okay. <clears throat> this thing is still going to be Fairy. I'm all bad. I think he wants to hit me with the Miascarada at this point. Maybe with like a Sucker Punch or something. 
But since I'm Terrasalized and I'm taking off that Ghost Typing, I think we should be able to eat up a shot and potentially get off this lovely little uh, Make It Rain. Because if I get off this Make It Rain take out the Sylveon, oh, I'll, be, I'll be loving it. I'll be loving life. I will be loving life. Haze comes out here. We're taking away our special attack drops. We're eliminating it. We said, hey, yo, special attack drop. We want you back. Hyper Voice is going to fly. Murkrow is probably going to sash up because of that. And Gold Go eats rather well. I wonder what Miascarad is going for. I do wonder what Mi Miascarad is going for. I think that's Thirst Spray. So it has to go. We have to be able to land this Make It Rain with the choice specs. Miascarad goes for knockoff. You should be able to eat that. I love you, Golden Go. That's exactly why we changed our typing. He takes off our choice specs, but still, this should be be able to do enough damage to get rid of that silver down. No problem. Awesome. Strong, strong start from us. So I can haze again, but I don't think that's going to be the play. He might actually, if he brings out the Donzo combo, then we just straight up haze and we kind of get our first battle fine. But if not, we'll kind of just waste out these trick room turns. I'm not choice anymore. I can go in any move now. He knocked off my choice spec. Let's see, let's see how they end up going. But I always forget that Miyashirata is a tricking Pokemon. It kind of just rolls out from there. But they end up not bringing the Dodonzo combo, which is probably smart in their end. It's definitely smart in their end. They have Armor Rouge ooh, and Hydreigon. Armor Rouge and Hydreigon. Shadow Ball is obviously going to be my play to try to hit up on this thing. Then I'm, I guess I'll go for an Icy Wind. Like, how many turns are left in Trick Room? It's going to be probably two when I come in. Yeah, it's going to be two when I bring out the T-Tar Miyashirata. I do have Sucker Punch ready to roll. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go for an Icy Wind. I guess I'll go for an Icy Wind. Sucky's gonna fire. He picks up the easy double KO, no problem. But he takes out my Golden Go. I wish I had Protect on one of these Pokemon. I would've protected the waste out turns. But he's lucky he didn't have the uh, Dodonzo combo. Lucky, lucky, I'm telling you. And then Hydreigon is going to pop the Dark Pulse. Finish off my Murkrow. Pretty simple, straightforward play. So we do have a little bit of a problem right here. Do have a little bit of a problem, and that's going to be Trick Room. Trick Room is going to be a problem, but I do have Sucker Punch to slap up onto that Armor Rouge, which I really like. I do have that. I really, really. So I'm just going to pop a Sucker Punch right into that uh, Armor Rouge because, again, Trick Room is going to be able to outspeed. Do not really want that thing hit me with a Water Move. Or well, not Water Move, a Fire Move. And it cannot, none of these Pokemon can Terrasalize. All Terrasalize has been used. So Sucker Punch going to fly here. And I could just Rock Slide, but I don't want to crunch. I could D-Dance. I could definitely D-Dance, but I think just getting off damage on the Hydreigon and keeping my T-Tar speed is going to be the best bet. So Sucker Punch flies through here. We don't pick up the KO, which kind of hurts the soul. Kind of hurts the soul. He's going to Armor Cannon. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead to that. <laughs> Takes me out all day. All day. Defense drops. T-Tar might be slower than the Hydreigon in Trick Room. T-Tar might be slower, is it? It's not. Oh, Flash Cannon's flying. It's doing okay. We can eat up another Flash Cannon, which is really good for us. We just need Rock Side to land on both these guys here, which it does. Which it does. That's huge. I could protect the turn, which I might have to protect the turn. Right? I got to protect the turn. Because if we can eat up another Flash Cannon, that's huge. My team's tail. Oh, I forgot I had tail went up. Oh, uh, we might be able to outspeed now. Let me see your speed, Titar. Let me see your speed. I think you outspeed. I really do think you outspeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. Cause I can eat up another flash cannon. And if I don't, we can just pop protect next turn. Yeah, we outspeed. Beautiful. Rockside comes in there and there's the victory, baby. Up against the Dodonzo team. They didn't bring it out, but they're lucky they didn't bring it out because we definitely would have won that if he had it on the field. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, rent this team if you're looking to push Master Tier. This team got me to Master Tier, and it is so strong on the rank ladder. You got the T-Tar, you got the Garchomp combo, me Rada does crazy damage all around, and it can counter the Donzos, and then you got the Arcanine, Golden Go, and Murkrow that do work in all different situations. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.